Hello and welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you so much for joining us again. In this segment, we're going to have a brief conversation with Mr. Alan Frost. Now, Alan's the founder of Flavor Naturals. He's going to talk about cocoflavanol benefits on cardiovascular health, including results from Harvard's groundbreaking 21,400 person five year control study of daily cocoflavanol consumption. Welcome to Health Professional Radio. Alan Frost, thank you for joining us. Thanks, Neil. It's uh, fantastic to be here this morning. Well, what's your area of expertise? So uh, my background, actually, I grew up in the, the biotech uh, industry and, um, yeah, spent uh, most of my career there until about seven years ago. Uh, my wife threw an article uh, in the New York Times on my lap that said, uh, chocolate improves memory. And, mm. uh, you know, I picked it up very skeptical and uh, t- took a close look and, I was incredibly impressed with the data. Uh, the uh, that particular study, um, and in most of the studies, cocoflavanols use uh, about 500 to 900 milligrams a day of cocoflavanols, which is which is a lot of cocoflavanols. You'd have to eat five or ten chocolate bars a day to get that level of flavanols. And uh, anyway, so that you know that sort of kicked off my interest in the area, and I kind of said to my wife, I said, you know. Uh, if we could develop a product, uh, you know, natural chocolate, cocoa powder, maybe some beverages that have the flavanol levels that uh, are being used in these uh, studies and in multiple studies, uh, I thought this would, you know, could be really an interesting product. So that's uh, that's kind of where it all started. Is chocolate simply chocolate? When people hear about the benefits of, of, of chocolate, um, it's uh, it's really the cocoflavanol antioxidants that that are in chocolate that provide the benefits. So these flavanols, what they at a very simple level, they 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 increase the flexibility of our arteries and vessels and increase elasticity. The the, the flavanol levels so they come from the bean itself. So white chocolate uh, really does not have any um, any cocoflavanols because it's not made from the cocoa bean itself. Milk chocolate has a little bit more, and then dark chocolate um, is made mostly from the bean. You know, less sugar, mm-hmm. uh, no milk um, is going to have your, your most flavanols. But one of the biggest uh, misconceptions out there is that cocoa flavanols, which are you know benefiting you uh, from dark chocolate, uh, is is really strictly related to the cacao percentage, right? Like you know, when you buy a bar, you see it's sixty percent, seventy percent, eighty percent. And a lot of people will say, well, if you eat a bar that's 70 percent cacao, uh, you know, that's very helpful. You're, you're, you're getting all the benefits you need. But the reality is cocoflavanols actually uh, the primary determinant of cocoflavanols actually is the bean itself. But what bean did you start with? Um, because cocoa beans, depending on where they're grown, where they're from, the strain, the soil can vary uh, tenfold in, in, in the bean. So uh, so so in general. <laughs> the long-winded answer to your question, Dale. In general, dark chocolate will have more cocoa flavanols than milk chocolate, and uh, white chocolate will, will not have any at all. But the primary determinant actually is the is the bean itself. Like what bean do you use, and, and how do you process it? Because these flavanols are are very fragile, and they're susceptible to heat damage and um, chemical damage. Well, how does one find the specific strain, the type of bean, the type of chocolate that's going to be most beneficial to them with uh, all of the different uh, manufacturers, the different regions of the world that it's grown in. How do you zero in on that which is going to be most beneficial for you? Yeah, it's tricky. Um, you know, ultimately, you, ne- you need to look at the, the label. And uh, I think what you'll see down the road, especially as more data comes out, right, there's this you know terrific new data coming out of Harvard and the data on cocoa flavanols and cardiovascular and the cognitive benefits can continue to, to, to strengthen. Um, I think you're going to see more and more, uh, you know, chocolate cocoa powder. It's not just dark chocolate, right? Like we, you know, we have an unsweetened cocoa powder. We have a chocolate oat milk um, that also have, uh, you know, the level of cocoa flavanols that are being used in these studies. But, um, you know, for now, uh, not not many manufacturers are doing that. And the tricky thing is that for most manufacturers, the cocoa flavanols in their products and their cocoa products will vary by batch. 
um, because we make claims around this, we, you know, we, we measure each batch and we're, you know, we're very careful with that. So ultimately right now, you need to look at the label and, uh, and in the future, hopefully we'll see more companies uh, listing cocoa flavanols on their label. You know, oftentimes we hear about something that's beneficial for us, that's a natural thing, but it may be a bit tricky to come by. What about substitute supplements for cocoa flavanols? Do they exist? Yeah, there's um, so there, right now, like I said, there's uh, it's interesting because the science and this is one of those rare situations where the science is, a, is ahead of the supplement and, and food options. But um, right now, there's a product uh, like it called Cocovia. It's a supplement. Um, they offer cocoflavanol pills. You have to take uh, two or three pills a day to get up to uh, 500 or 700 milligrams of cocoflavanols. We offer, you know, as I said, we offer a dark chocolate that has 500 milligrams of cocoa flavanols per bar. Our beverages have uh, 600 milligrams per serving. And our cocoa powder, we actually offer as a supplement. And that one scoop of our unsweetened cocoa butter has 900 milligrams of cocoa flavanols. Are these cocoa flavanols beneficial throughout life or when you're a kid? Is it really not that big a deal? It, does it become more important as you become older? And briefly, what was it that impressed you so much about the study? Yeah, so they, uh, so, so it's interesting. There's so much data out there. And that's what I love because I'm a, I'm a data geek. You know, I grew up in the biotech industry. Um, it, it really benefits all all age groups. So we've seen studies in, uh, you know, College age kids showing improved cognition. Um, we've seen uh, results in older people, you know, showing uh, immense uh, cardiovascular benefits. Uh, this Harvard study suggests um, we actually showed a 27% reduction in cardiovascular death for people that were consuming cocoa flavanols, uh, daily cocoa flavanols, for an average of 3.6 years, and that was a huge. You know, as you mentioned, you know, the Harvard study is a 21,000 person uh, placebo controlled trial. Uh, so so re- there, there's benefits to all ages, but but the benefits definitely build as we as we grow older, because the elasticity of our arteries and vessel vessels um, declines as, as we as we get older. So when you're 19, you know, they're very flexible. They, they will flex, say, 9 percent. You're running up the stairs. You're out of breath. Um, they'll flex to accommodate that increased uh, need for oxygen and nutrients throughout your body. Mm-hmm. Um, when you're, you know, when you're 60 years old, that may be five or six percent, and uh, you know, for smokers, it's less. Uh, you know, and as we get even older, that that declines. So, what the, the remarkable thing about the daily cocoflavanol use is really can get your ar- arterial flexibility uh, back to, you know, kind of where it was when you were when you're uh, 19 years old. Do you see a collaboration between the manufacturing industry when it comes to chocolate and and cocoa and the medical community? It's my understanding that nutrition isn't focused on quite as intently as many of the other disciplines when you're in medical school. Is this something that uh, medical professionals are in agreement with when it comes to cocoa flavanols? Yeah, I think this is a big uh, opportunity, Neil, and I think you're, you're right on. And again, my background is in biotech. When you look at the data for flavanols, when you're talking about like a 27% reduction in cardiovascular death, and this is a, you know, this, this recent, this is just one, uh, one study out of Harvard, but um, that was, you know, that's huge. And, and that number actually jumped to 39% when you looked at just those people that uh, said they were taking their, uh, their cocoa flavanols, consuming their cocoa flavanols, uh, daily, as they were supposed to do uh, in, in in the trial. So, uh, I think what you're going to see is more partnership with the uh, medical community. That's that's certainly one of our objectives. Um, you know, and and this is one of the nice things about my background because I spent most of my career there. Uh, we, we're actually so take take for example this new Harvard study. Uh, Howard Sesso is the one of the primary investigators. Uh, we're talking to Howard right now about presentations to large group of uh, nutritionists across the country uh, to educate them uh, on this data. And uh, and we're also exploring doing educational programs um, with, um, you know, with other healthcare providers. But, uh, you know, like you said, you you don't see, 
you know, a, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, education interaction, you know, uh, in that area right now. Well, give us a website where our listeners can learn more. So our website is Flava Naturals. So that's uh, F-L-A-V-A naturals.com, all one word, Flava Naturals.com. We've got plenty of information on the website and you could, uh, you could check out our products, um, you know, uh, our, our dark chocolate, our, our cocoa powder, and, and our beverages. And uh, I can promise you they're delicious and super, super healthy. Great. Alan, been a pleasure. Thank you so much for uh, giving us this information this morning. Thanks. been a pleasure to be with you. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Alan Frost, founder of Flavin Naturals. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, listen in, download at SoundCloud, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, healthprofessionalradio.com.